Today we have 10 more questions from you from down in the comments answering them about finasteride and minoxidil since you guys love to talk about finasteride and minoxidil. Hi, my name is William Gonitz. I'm the CEO and founder of Evolution Hair Loss Institute. I'm a certified trichologist and I've been helping people regrow hair for over 22 years. Now finasteride and minoxidil, they are the topics that many people want to talk about and today I'm going to answer those questions specifically from you about those items. So let's get started. So this question is, I'm I'm suffering from psoriasis and now I'm having hair fall, can I use minoxidil? And the answer is maybe. Minoxidil is one of those things that can actually cause additional flare-ups with psoriasis if you're putting the product specifically on top of the area that's affected by psoriasis. So you have to be very careful. Additionally, some types of minoxidil have propylene glycol. Propylene glycol is a great solvent. It does love to carry things into the skin, but it can actually create a flare of dry, itchy skin skin, it can create a contact dermatitis, and that will certainly flare up your psoriasis. I would try to control the psoriasis first, get your vitamin D to an optimal level, make sure that your inflammation is down, change your diet, do the things to actually control that, and then use minoxidil or other types of treatment to control your hair loss. Second question, my husband has been using minoxidil for years, it works really well. Are there any long-term negative side effects for using minoxidil? No, there really aren't. If you haven't had a side effect originally, you're probably not going to to get a long-term side effect. Unfortunately, minoxidil usually does not work as well as time goes on, but if it's working really well for your husband, he's got no side effects, have him keep using it, fantastic. Another minoxidil question, I started using minoxidil and now I experience lots of headaches and dizziness. What is the situation? Can I stop using it because I have lots of hair on the back of my neck, headaches and dizziness, and even brain fog side effects from minoxidil? I'm worried. Please answer me, thank you. <laughs> okay, these are symptoms of a negative response or side effects to minoxidil. And minoxidil is a blood pressure drug originally, so it's actually gonna bring down blood pressure. This can cause dizziness. This can cause basically low blood pressure, swelling in the ankles, swelling underneath the eyes, and it can cause brain fog. So in this case, your only option essentially is to go off of minoxidil, and that's okay. But there's other things that you can do to support your hair growth. You just need to obviously look into those. So so I would go off of minoxidil if that's what you're experiencing. Okay, another minoxidil question. Is it true that gains from minoxidil can be permanent if used for the last two years? No they're not permanent. You can wean off of minoxidil in certain respects, but there's nothing permanent about minoxidil. You have to keep taking it to get the same result. If it boosted you to a level that your hair is growing better than it was before and then you block the underlying reason for the loss, then yeah, you can possibly wean off, which is only about 50% of the time. So it is not permanent, absolutely it is not. On to a finasteride question. Does work like finasteride does cause erectile dysfunction? I'm pretty certain that this person is trying to to say, does finasteride cause erectile dysfunction? And my discussion is about saw palmettos. In this particular scenario, finasteride can cause erectile dysfunction. It is listed in the sexual side effects. It is a real thing. About 5% of the people that I've worked with, I've seen have some type of sexual dysfunction related to it. And the saw palmetto question related to finasteride is saw palmetto works totally differently. It should not cause any type of sexual dysfunction. I will actually have the chief medical officer of a saw palmetto manufacturer on my podcast here in the coming months that will explain that in gross detail. And it's very, very interesting. So a lot of these sexual side effects from saw palmetto I think are actually psychosomatic. So yes, finasteride causes erectile dysfunction in some cases. No, saw palmetto does not. Here's another one. Does saw palmetto cause sexual side effects or impotency and tension? I'm gonna relate that to a finasteride question because again, no it does not. In a lot of cases, finasteride actually is extremely beneficial. You can use it topically, you can use it orally, and if you are using it and getting no side effects, it is actually a very, very powerful tool to mitigate a DHT-related loss. So don't be afraid of it. Do your research, test, make sure it's okay for you. Again, Again, you have to weigh the pros and the cons. 95% of the people who use finasteride don't have any types of issues. Okay, another minoxidil question. My son is using minoxidil on his receding hairline. He is 22 years old. Should he start weaning off of it and adding your Nutri-M every day? Could he get off of minoxidil? Now, this is a sticky, sticky question. So first of all, Nutri-M is a product that my company manufactures. 
but it is not minoxidil. Once you begin minoxidil, you have to stay on minoxidil unless you are blocking the underlying reason for the loss. You come off minoxidil cold turkey and go on to another product, you are going to dump hair. It's just how it works. You can wean and transition. You can use them both simultaneously, but you don't stop minoxidil and start the other one because it's going to cause problems. In this case, I would actually use both together. I would use minoxidil and actually keep that going and then put Nutri-M on top of it. It will actually amplify the result in most circumstances. And then once he gets the result that he's looking for, then he can try to wean off the minoxidil. I actually have that video right here, but ultimately you want to make sure that you don't just stop minoxidil cold turkey because that is basically a guaranteed shed. This one is I bought Kirkland's minoxidil foam. I have an M-shaped hairline. I'm in my 20s. Should I just start using this or sticking with a derma roller? What is the best solution for this situation? So on and so forth. So first of all, you don't just jump into growth stimulants. Don't just jump into minoxidil. Don't just jump into derma rolling. Figure out why you're losing hair. I know that's easier said than done. I have a video on identifying the reasons for your hair loss, whether that be inflammation, nutrition, or DHT. Now, you can have all three and you have to then manage all three. Derma rolling and minoxidil are growth stimulants. It does not block the underlying reason for the loss. So go ahead, do the hair pull test from this video and then figure out why you're losing hair and then actually, quite frankly, you should use minoxidil, you should derma roll, you should probably use a little of a laser therapy, but you do it all together to get a best result. And if you don't block the underlying reason for the loss, you're not gonna get results. Another question, after I stop minoxidil, can I use rosemary oil, redensil, or something else to reduce hair fall? Again, don't stop minoxidil. You have to then wean off. Again, go to my video on weaning off minoxidil. It's very specific, but don't switch from one to the other. If you've used it for over essentially six months, you need to be on it continuously or you will shed. All right, another finasteride question. I'm having rashes and itching all over my body with oral finasteride, what do I do? Well, this sounds like an actual allergic reaction. So if you are actually getting rashes and itching all over your body from finasteride, stop using finasteride. So if you've directly related it, that is an allergy and you don't want to continue using that because it's actually going to create more inflammation, can create all sorts of disruptions in your body, obviously just taking this allergen over and over and over again. So just stop it. I hope that helps. If you've got questions, go ahead, put them in the comments. I could answer those questions in a future video. And please, if you enjoy this content, subscribe to this channel. I'm happy to help in any way.